Okay, I have reshimmed her with a 45,000 shim, and then I have a couple pieces of two inch conduit. Now I'm gonna press her, press her on. Here, I'm honing out the old uh, outer pinion bearing so that it'll slide on. So when I go to do the shimming, uh, it's easy on and off. That is my old brake hone. Okay, here we go. We're going to test this thing. Oh, see, huh? It goes right down there. Now we can get her up. There we go. Oops. Yeah, I might have got her. It needs to go like that when it's cool. Nah. Oh well. I whipped some 80 grit on there and speed up this process. It was uh, taking too long, so I just whipped some 80 grit right here. On the outside. And uh, fired this thing back up. Okay, I honed out the center of this original bearing so it slides right on. So I go over to the new pinion, put her on there. Oh, she's a little tight, but she'll, she'll go on there and come off. Like that snug, perfect. So I'm ready to go in and set up the shim on that main bearing. I might have to pop that bearing off and the big bearing and re-shim it with these shims here uh, if it's off. I'll have to check the pattern and make sure that that shim's right. So that's the next step in putting this in. Anyway, I uh, honed her out right here. Got her so she just slides on so I don't have to beat it on and off. And then Easy as pie. Okay, we're back. We're back under the truck. And I, uh, I'm setting the lash. Three, two, three, two, that's five. Okay, I got the pattern, but at this point I gotta uh, take this out. I got it in my little 12 ton press and I'm pressing off the bearing. And when you do this with the bearing splitter, make sure that you're not hitting anything. You got it on properly, and then put a rag below her. You can see she's moving. There she goes. Okay, that's it. This is what she looks like before I button her up.